Okay, so apparently I had a comment asking for a tutorial on using the ions with the trigger. Um, I'm missing a red pad right now, but I can show everything else. It's a pretty simple concept. A lot of it is really just a matter of trial and error on what you do. Okay, so obviously you'll need it plugged in. Um, power button lights up. Uh, these two plugs right here, one right here and one right here, is so I can use the original Rock Band 1 stock foot pedal because the ion pedals do not work for this. Those were actually hi-hat pedals and they do not give the correct signal. I don't remember if mine came with it, but I do know that you need a MIDI cable. Um, it goes into the adapter, I'm not sure if it comes with that either, I don't think it did because I had two. Um, I want to say mine came with my Squire, the Pro Guitar, and I had to buy one separately. Either way, it plugs into the trigger and obviously the adapter here. Okay, um, I'm not sure if you can see that. Can I, I cannot change focus. Okay, you can, you can read right there where everything gets plugged into. Snare, ride, hi-hat, tom 1, tom 2, tom 3, crash. Very simple stuff. So simply to start it out, I use my hi-hat plug, plug it into the hi-hat. Tom 1, which would be my yellow pad, plugged into Tom 1. Blue pad into Tom 2. Green into Tom 3. crash symbol, which is your green symbol, into crash. Ride, which would be your blue symbol, obviously into ride. And if I had a red pad, I would plug that into snare right here. Uh, your kick, the first one will go there. If you do have a second one, I put it in the ninth one. I don't have a third pedal right now, so I can't use the hi-hat pedal just yet. Here's the, here's the front of it. Um, you can make like 20 different presets, I think it is. Let's see. Yeah, and I keep mine on zero because I only use it for this right now. Um, the only thing you need to worry about is the MIDI note for each one to start everything out. Um, I'm gonna hit the yellow pad right now. And it's 48, so your yellow pad will be 48. Blue pad is 45. Green is 43. Yellow symbol is 46, blue symbol is 53, green symbol is 49. I just went into drum freestyle so you can see what the gain itself does. Um, I have my pad set on 5, I believe. Yeah, on 5. So you can hear how hard I hit and how loud it comes out of the speakers. Uh, if I turn up the gain, it becomes a lot more sensitive. Hitting it the same, but it's much stronger. I keep the gain low. Hitting, still hitting it the same. I keep my threshold relatively high. I don't like it overhitting if I keep it too low. Um, the number is supposedly how much time in between hits it allows. So if I have it at three, I can obviously do it as fast as I can or want. But if I hit it hard enough and it picks it up, then it's not going to cut itself out like it does if I have a high threshold. Crosstalk is a pretty simple concept. If I have it at zero, then it won't stop anything. If I hit, for example, my blue pad and my yellow picks it up, it will still hit the yellow pad. If I have it at a seven, I need to literally hit the yellow pad in order for it to pick up. If I'm hitting it at the same time as the blue, however, I need to have a lot more power on the yellow since the crosstalk on the yellow is high. I try and keep mine at a 3 because it doesn't necessarily pick up when I'm hitting other pads and and when I'm hitting two at a time it doesn't require me to hit it extremely hard in an unnatural way. Trigger type is pretty uh, unimportant. I have everything set to the PS except for my pedals which is under the SP. 
uh, to use my rock band stock pedal, I'm using a quarter inch in with an eight inch female jack right here. Um, simply just goes in here and then plug the pedal into this side and just like that. Basically, the only thing that everybody needs to try out if they're going to use this, I know Chris is using it soon, is setting your gain to your preference. It's a matter of trial and error, your threshold, your crosstalk. Other than that, you really just need to know the MIDI numbers and where to plug it in. Very simple stuff. The most important thing is making sure that the pitch wheel is full because if it's lower, for example, if it's all the way down like mine is right now, even the pedal doesn't pick up. Uh, this changes the sensitivity. I usually keep mine all the way high and just leave it all up to the trigger. Simple stuff. So there it is. It's, uh, it's a pretty simple concept. It's a matter of trial and error on how you drum and how you hit your pads. Uh, the velocity curve I never messed with. It's the right underneath gain and above threshold. Um, that's supposed to help you in like how you hit your pads. There's, there's a book that came with it that explains all of it, but I mean, I never messed with it and nothing ever really happened with me. So, so to those of you trying to figure it out and can't or thinking of buying it i mean it's it's a it's a simple procedure it's plug stuff in and choose the right note uh good luck to anybody that uses it <laughs> this is the most bullshit tutorial ever because i don't even know how to explain it it's it's very simple um <laughs> enjoy it <laughs>